Tianyi Film Company Chinese, Tianyi Ying Pian Gong Si Pinyin, Tianyi Ying Pian Gong Si, also called Unique Film Productions, was one of the big three film production companies in pre-Second World War Republic of China. Founded in Shanghai in 1925 by the Shaw Xiao brothers led by Runjie Shaw Xiao Zuiwang, the company also established operations in Malaya and Hong Kong. Although the company's Shanghai studio was destroyed in 1937 during the Japanese invasion, its offshoot in Hong Kong, later called Shaw Brothers Studio, blossomed into a media empire under the leadership of the youngest brother, Sir Run Run Shaw. Founding In 1922, Runjie Shaw Xiao Zuiwang, the eldest Shaw brother who had been a lawyer and businessman, was the manager of the theater Xiao Wutai Happy Stage or Laughter Stage in Shanghai. Among his colleagues were Zhang Shishuan, Zheng Zhengchu, and Zhou Jianyun, who co-founded Mingxing Film Company. In 1923 Mingxing released the film Orphan Rescue's Grandfather to great commercial success. Inspired by his former colleagues, Shaw established Tianyi Film Company in 1925. He served as general manager and director, while his younger brothers Run Shaw and Runmi Shaw managed accounting and distribution. The youngest brother, Run Run Shaw did odd jobs for the company. Success. Tianyi's first film, A Change of Heart, Li De Sheung Fu directed by Xiao Zuiwang himself and released in 1925, was highly profitable. A shrewd businessman who understood the audience's preferences, Xiao was one of the first Chinese filmmakers to make extensive use of traditional literature, legends, and myths. Tianyi made highly successful genre films, including costume drama, swordplay, and Gods and Ghosts, inspiring numerous imitations from other studios. The studio's 1925 film Swordswoman Li Fei Fei is considered by some as the earliest Chinese martial arts film. In 1926, Tianyi released two highly successful costume dramas, The Lovers, Liang Zhu Tongxi, based on the legend of Liang Shanbo and Zhu Yingte, and White Snake, based on the eponymous legend, both directed by Xiao Zuiwang. In addition to success in the domestic market, White Snake also became the most successful Chinese film in Southeast Asia. Tianyi was one of the first filmmakers to take the leap from silent films to sound. In 1931, Xiao produced A Singer's Story, Gi Chong Chun Se, one of the earliest Chinese sound films, directed by Li Pingqian. Starting in 1934, Tianyi made a series of Mr. Wong comedy films adapted from the popular comic strip of Yi Qianyu. Unlike other major studios, which produced politically charged, socially conscious leftist films, Tianyi mainly focused on making apolitical entertainment films. By the 1930s, Tianyi had become one of the top Chinese film studios, along with Mingxing and Lianhua. Topic. International expansion Besides Shanghai, Tianyi also expanded its business to Southeast Asia and Hong Kong. In the mid-1920s, Xiao Zuiwang sent Runmi and Run Run to Singapore, then part of British Malaya, where they established a company called the Xia Organization to distribute films made by Tianyi. Around 1930, the Shaw brothers set up Nanyang South Seas Film Studio to produce films. In 1933, Tianyi released White Gold Dragon, the first Cantonese talkie ever produced, which was a commercial success in southern China. Tianyi subsequently established a studio in Hong Kong in 1933-34 to produce Cantonese films. The move to Hong Kong was accelerated by the banning of martial arts films by the Chinese government as these films were thought to be morally decadent and promote superstition, as well as a ban on Cantonese films. 
Both of these genres were important to Tianyi as they were very popular among the Chinese diaspora communities, and Tianyi exported its Mandarin films produced in Shanghai and Cantonese films produced in Hong Kong throughout Southeast Asia. Its Hong Kong studio was destroyed by a fire in 1936, but Run Sha, the second eldest brother, re-established the business as Nanyang Studio, later renamed Shaw and Sons. Topic: <laughs> Demise in Shanghai. Just before the Japanese invasion of Shanghai in August 1937, Tianyi shipped its equipment to Hong Kong, and amalgamated the main operation with its Hong Kong branch, Nanyang Studio. Its studio in Shanghai was destroyed when the Japanese occupied the city, and Xiao Zuiwang closed Shanghai-based Tianyi. The other major studios of Shanghai, Mingxing and Lianhua, also suffered fatal damage. The Shah's operations in Hong Kong and Southeast Asia later also suffered setbacks during World War II, when the Japanese confiscated their theaters and imprisoned Run Run Shah. <laughs> Legacy After World War II and the communist victory in mainland China, Xiao Zuiwang retired from the film industry and stayed in Shanghai. His younger brothers, meanwhile, rebuilt their businesses in Singapore and Hong Kong. When Hong Kong emerged as the new center for Chinese language filmmaking, Run Run Shaw moved there from Singapore in 1957, and reorganized the Tianyi operations into Shaw Brothers Studio. Under Sir Run Run's leadership, Shaw Brothers became Hong Kong's largest and most influential film production company from the early 1960s until the mid-1980s. Shaw later concentrated on TVB, which became the dominant television company in Hong Kong. See also Cinema of China Cinema of Hong Kong List of Chinese film production companies before 1949